Hi, I'm Richard Crispy, and I founded Collaborate App to help accelerate cooperation on tackling some of our world's biggest challenges. And we're facing a really big one today. Every year, the health of the honeybee has been declining. And one in three bites of food that you put in your mouth relies on the health of that honeybee. And as we've learned from our partners at the Honeybee Health Coalition and the Pollinator Stewardship Council, there are no quick fixes to this challenge. In fact, it's what the scientists call a multifactorial problem, which means there is no one cause, no one solution, and therefore no one owner for either the cause or the solution. Modern agriculture is an incredibly complicated and highly specialized system. And sometimes cracks can open up in between all of those different specialists. And into one of those cracks has fallen our little honeybee. And that's why we know that what it's going to take to really tackle this problem is intensive cooperation across the food value chain and why we've helped to put together Be Understanding, an incubated project of the Honeybee Health Coalition. Through Be Understanding, we're going to give farmers and beekeepers, entomologists and crop advisors, pest control applicators and regulators the chance to swap jobs for a day and walk a mile in the other guy's boots so that they can see this problem from the ground level and come up with solutions together. North Dakota is a uh, honey producing state. We're also a corn producing state. Uh, corn does not need the honeybees. Um, am I out there trying to kill them? No. The environmentalists are saying, hey, you're just using too many pesticides and because you're using all these pesticides, you know, all the bees are dying and all the butterflies are dying. And then you also have beekeepers that, you know, have really have lost a lot of uh, their bees. There's been a lot of speculation about what is going on with bees, but really there are three big, what we call the P's of possible causes for these issues with honeybees. And we still don't know exactly what is behind it, but we think it's mostly um, pathogens and pests, uh, poor nutrition, and potentially pesticides. If they are harmful, uh, I want to be shown that and so that we can correct what we're using so that it is not uh, a hindrance to the bees. Really, we just need to bring this back to, uh, you know, what does the science say about this and, and hold a good conversation in between all the stakeholders. So I'm really looking forward to spending time with a farmer up in North Dakota next week. I want to climb in that tractor. I want to see the equipment he's using and the, and the seeds that he's putting in the ground and what challenges he's facing. You know, what are the different pests that he's trying to control so that, you know, he can do a good job and provide for his family and food for the nation. Both beekeepers and growers need to protect their crops. We want to give you a front row seat because not only are we going to swap jobs, we're also going to capture all of this in a series of documentary short films, which we will make available to you and that we'll work to embed into continuing education programs across the food value chain. But we can't do it alone. We need your help. Just $50 will help us to complete our documentary short film and $500 gets you a seat at our special honey dinner where our executive chef will work culinary magic by incorporating honey into each and every course. $5,000 earns you an executive producer credit and a chance to really make a difference in helping us complete one of our job swaps. And $30,000 will get you the chance to be an executive producer and to help us co-host our special honey dinner. Together and with your help, we can make a difference and we can improve the help of the honeybee. I hope you'll consider donating today.